What's up, Buttercup? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of how to create and mint an NFT on Soulsea. These are some of my earliest TikToks and Reels, but they get so far lost down in my feed that I want a nice video that I can guide people to. But before I get into it, I would appreciate it if you take a second to like this video. It helps me out so much, so thank you for doing that. Okay, to get started, we're gonna go to soulsea.io. Make sure to avoid fake websites that you are typing in the exact URL. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is connecting our wallet. If you do not have a wallet that support Solana based NFTs, you need to do that first. I have a video that's going to show you how to do that. And then you also need a little bit of Sol, the currency in that wallet so you can pay for the gas fees. And I have another video showing you how to do that. So once you have your wallet with Sol in it, you're going to connect it by clicking that button and typing in your password. Since I was just here, I was already signed in, but if you weren't signed in, a window would pop up. You just type in your email and sign into your account. So now that our wallet is connected, we are going to actually create the NFT. So one thing I want to mention is you cannot on Soulsea create an NFT and then create a collection and add the NFT to it. It has to be the other way around. So if your NFT is going to be a part of a collection, you have to create the collection first. And then as you mint the NFTs, you choose that collection that they will go in and it just has to be in that order. So I am going to be minting a one of one piece, my finding balance art piece, and I'm gonna add it to a collection that I already have, the point of departure collection. So I'm gonna skip the making a collection phase, but if you are gonna make your collection, you need to do that first. So you would just click create collection and you would just fill out all this information. Type in your title, description, upload header, all these kind of promotional banners, select your tags and yeah, just more information about your collection and then all of your links. So Twitter, Discord, Telegram, Instagram, and website. And then you would click create collection right here at the bottom. And it's that simple. So that's step one, if you are gonna be making NFTs in a collection. So once you have your collection, we're gonna go create NFT. Now, the first thing we're gonna upload is a static preview. So I'm gonna be using, it's just a digital drawing and I'm gonna be using the same image the, the same file for the preview or wait sorry i'm going to be using the same file for the static preview and the actual artwork but if your artwork is a very large file size you can use a smaller one for the static preview because the max size for static preview is 10 megabytes where the artwork file can be up to 40. so mine isn't that big so i'm going to be using the same um, image the same file for both oh just kidding it is <laughs> it is too big <laughs> File must be under 10 megabytes. Okay, so I need to get a smaller, <laughs> a smaller version. So what I'm doing right now is getting the same file from Procreate, but I'm getting it in a JPEG because JPEG, that file format, um, is smaller. It compresses the image down, so it isn't as good quality, but that's why this is just for the preview and not the actual artwork itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna be uploading that smaller file. And then if your NFT is gonna be a video or an animated GIF, you would put your animated preview right here, which again, is just gonna be a smaller file than your actual artwork. But since mine is not animated, I'm just gonna leave that field blank. And then I'm gonna upload the biggest file, the most high res for the actual artwork, which is a PNG file. Okay, now we're gonna be typing in all of the information. So this information is very important to get right on the first try because you will not be able to edit it. It is going to be secured on the blockchain forever. So what I like to do is make a Google Doc and I put my title and description and everything on that so it's spell checked and then I just copy and paste it and bring it over or else I would make so many mistakes because I do not know how to spell whatsoever and I'm gonna copy and bring over the title and the descriptions. So I will mention too that these description, especially the short description, is pretty short. You can only have 64 characters. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, next is gonna be the royalties. So this is one of the best parts. So when you sell your NFT for the first time, you get all the profits from it. But then as it sells on the secondary market, you get a percentage, well, you can add it if you would like. Um, you can get a percentage of royalties royalties from every single sale. So you can pick a number from zero to 50. I'm gonna pick 10. So if this resells on the secondary market, I will get 10% of whatever it sells for, forever. So as it keeps reselling, I will continue to get royalties on those um, forever, which is one of the reasons why NFTs are so cool for artists, because you'll be able to continue to get that residual income um, if people continue to sell your work. 
which is amazing. So now here you can type in a website if you have a website that corresponds with your artwork. Again, I don't know how to spell, I don't trust myself, so I go and copy and paste it. So here you're gonna select the tags that are relevant to your artwork. So for me, I'm gonna do digital art and drawing, beautiful. And here, and next you're going to choose your licensing. So you can pick certain licensing and they're embedded, the copyright licensing is embedded in your NFT. So the one I choose is public display non-commercial use. So this means whoever has the NFT can publicly display the art in whatever way they want. They can put it on a shirt, walk around, they can put it in their house, um, but they don't have commercial rights to it. So they can't then make shirts and then go and sell those shirts. They can resell the NFT and I get the royalties from that. So that's kind of how that works and that's the license that I use. And then here, collection is where your collection will pop up. So if you have multiple, there'll be a list here. I just have the one, so I'm gonna add that collection. And if your NFT is not gonna be part of a collection, you just leave that blank. Next are the traits. I leave these blank because I don't do kind of the generative projects where there's you know different traits that kind of have different values and stuff like that. If you do, you would type those in here. Since it doesn't really apply to mine, I'm just gonna leave it blank. And here, NSFW, I just looked up what that meant. I thought it was like nudity, something, 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 and it is not safe for work. Did you know that? Was I the only one that didn't know that? Anyways, I'm clicking that one on because there's a nipple there, so I think I have to do that. Okay, I didn't just check right now, but typically I would go back and scroll through everything and triple check that I got it right. I just clicked men and didn't really do that. So learn from my advice, double check everything because if you mess up again, you kind of can't go back. So now you're gonna approve two transactions. They're gonna pop up right in this window, right? Click approve on that first one. Because we are using the Solana blockchain, the gas fees are so cheap. We love that. And there's gonna be one more to approve. Click approve. And there you go, your NFT is created. So now you can see your NFT by going to your wallet. Just click wallet, NFTs in my wallet, and the one you made should show up right there. So there you go, that is how to make an NFT on Solsi. The process is pretty straightforward. So the next step after making your NFTs would probably be to get it verified before you list it. So I'm gonna have a video explaining how to do that that I'll link below. All right, my friends, I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.